right so let's look at this question on integration by parts so you're asked to find the integral of x sine x dx given the upper limit as x over 2 and lower limit as 0 so how do we solve this now our first tax here is to ignore the limits and just look for the integral of x sine x right dx of course so i'll have that i'll have the integral of x sine x dx now in this case here the method i'll employ here would be um integration by parts right so i'm using integration by parts and for integration by parts recall that we said the formula is integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral of v du right so this is your formula for integration by parts that means for this the first term here becomes u and the second term here becomes dv all right now if that's taken would say let u so i would say let u be equal to this term there that's x now if i look at this integration by parts observe that i have a du here du means i will differentiate so if u is x if i differentiate x du will be equal to what there one now notice that i did not say du over dx i just said du this is how integration by parts work okay also let dv also let dv be equal to so we took u as x we are taking dv as sine x let dv be equal to sine x now if you look at the integration by parts formula at this point you have uv all right so, so that means i need a v question now is if i have dv here and i want to get a v what do i use or what do i do i will have to integrate so to get v i'll have to integrate sine x and if i integrate sine x i'll have minus cos x right we've treated all of this concept from scratch in our previous class on integration by parts all right i'll leave a link to the video on integration by parts in the video description all right so check the video description you see a link to the video on integration by parts all right so let's proceed with this let's proceed with this if i impute this formula that means the integral of x sine x dx would be equal to it said uv that's u times v u is x times v is minus cos x that becomes uv minus the integral of v du so you can see that v is already minus cos x so minus cos x into du du is one so we have one here all right so we have this all right let's work on this so this will now be equal to x times minus cos x gives you minus x cos x this minus comes out here that becomes minus minus which gives you plus the integral of cos x times one gives you cos all right so cos x times one here gives you cos x all right let's proceed with this this will now be equal to this will now be equal to minus x cos x plus the integral of cos x is actually sine x of course plus c so i have sine x plus c all right so i have this as my answer all right now don't forget that this one here we are placed under limits so at this point i'll bring back the limits that's the upper limit and lower limit and it will be encased in a square bracket the upper limit we had was pi over 2 and lower limit was zero now take note that if i'm doing integration by parts which in which involves this now this is actually called a definite integral okay now if i'm doing definite integral d plus c the constant is not needed because it will cancel out that means if i work on this this should be equal to uh this will give you a minus x cosine x plus sine x you can omit the constant plus c because it's not needed or you, you could say it to cancel out so you can leave it out so this is it all right so how do you solve this now here's how to solve this just note that note um, note that pi is equal to 180 degree in essence pi over 2 is equal to 90 degree all right so we've done this all right 
if that's true, that means in essence, this is equal to, I'll be having something like minus x cosine x plus sine x all into pi over 2 is 90 degrees, we have 0. Now, what exactly does this mean? Now, what this means is this. Wherever I see x here, inside this um, square bracket, I'll put 90 there. In essence, this now becomes minus x becomes 90. I'm having minus 90 cosine. This x becomes 90, okay, plus sine x becomes 90. So I have 90 here. All right, so that's my first tax. Put, um, wherever I see x there, I'll put 90 degrees or 90 there. Minus, the next tax now is to put x as your lower limit here, which is 0. All right, so put x as 0 into the same um, function. That becomes, the function there is minus x. That becomes minus 0. Cos x, this x here, but x is 0, so cos 0. Okay, plus sine x here which is zero all right so that's that, that's like the, the simple tax there put x as 90 then subtract it's always a minus put x as zero let's try to simplify this this is equal to um let's simplify this so let's start with the first one there minus 90 cos 90 what do we have um just get my calculator and punch very fast uh, make sure your calculator is in degrees okay very important make sure that your calculator is in degrees before punching so minus 90 cos 90, um, this gives you about 0, okay? So if you punch minus 90 cos 90, you have that as 0 plus, if you punch sine 90, sine 90 gives you 1, so 0 plus 1, okay? So I have this as 1, minus, let's look at the other part of the bracket, minus 0 cos 0. If you punch minus 0 cos 0, that should give you 0, okay, plus, Next up, I have sine 0. So if you punch sine 0, that gives you 0. So that gives you 0 here. All right, let's proceed with this. This is equal to 0 plus 1 is 1 minus 0 minus 0 plus 0 is 0. So my final answer here is equal to 1. So my answer here is 1. So this is how you solve this question. All right. Now, this question is actually on what is called definite integrals. All right. I've already done a video on definite integrals where I explain everything about definite integrals from the scratch. All right. So check out the playlist on integration and you'll see it there. All right. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. All right. So hit the like button, like this video, uh, leave a comment. All right. Tell us if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget if it's your first time or if you're yet to subscribe, please do want to subscribe to this channel for more content. And finally, please, please, please share. Share this content to your friends so that they can also learn. Don't forget to visit my website www.jonahimani.com forward slash courses or books and you see the available books and courses, all right? www.jonahimani.com All right, thank you and see you in our next class.